In this video, we will create a flowchart to calculate the sum of all numbers from 1 to n, where n is the user specified upper limit. For example, consider if n is equals to 5. Then we need to print the sum of all numbers from 1 to 5. That is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 which is equals to 15. So without further ado, let's get started. At first, let's draw a starting terminator to start the program. Now we will accept input from the user and store it in the variable. Thus, let's create an input component and save the input in variable n. We will then implement a process box and define two variables sum and i. Additionally, we will initialize sum to 0 and i to 1. After that, we will create a decision box and check whether i is less than or equals to n or not. If i is not less than or equals to n, we will print the variable sum using the output component and end the program with the end terminator. If i is less than or equals to n, then we will implement the process box and increment the sum by i. Additionally, we will also increment i by 1 with another process box. Finally, we will create a loop before the decision box that will recheck the value of i on each iteration. As soon as the value of i exceeds n, the program ends. So let's dry run the program to understand the workflow. Consider n is equals to 3. Initially, the sum will be 0 and i will be 1. Since i is equals to 1, the condition inside the process box is true. Thus, the sum becomes 0 plus 1 which is 1 and i becomes 2 after incrementation. Now again, it will check whether 2 is less than or equals to n or not. As n is equals to 3, the condition in the decision box is true. Therefore, this sum becomes 1 plus 2 which is 3 and i becomes 3 after incrementation. Similarly, it will again check whether 3 is less than or equals to n or not. As n is equals to 3, the condition is again true. And hence, the sum becomes 3 plus 3 which is 6 and i becomes 4 after incrementation. At this point, as i is equals to 4, the condition in the decision box becomes false. As a result, our program will print the sum that is 6 and terminates. Thank you.